I really hate weddings. We're missing Katie and Jenna. Well, I guess we found Katie. Okay, so one thing that I really loved about the movie is this whole dynamic of the modern woman who has to be confronted with these issues of, are you to this or to that? You have to be sweet, but you have to be kind of tough. You have to have a career, but you have to have a husband. So, you know, with being an actress, like you ladies are, um, what's the hardest line that you've had to walk in this industry? For me, um, because I'm a mom, I just find it really hard that there's a part of me that really wants to be seen and be shiny and be out, and then, but most of me just really wants to be in sweats with the kids. So I sort of dip my, I just, I'm constantly feeling like, oh, I should do something, but I really don't want to. Right. That's hard. That yeah. makes sense. And they also follow you more when you have children. It's, and they don't blur out the faces in America, yeah. which is weird to me. Yeah. Like, for your yeah. when you're with your little kid, how, I think about like, how do you explain to your kid, like, who that is, you know what I mean? Who this person, maybe I just tell my kid like, oh look, they're taking our picture. <laughs> yeah, that's like, what and make I do. it fun. Yeah. If they even notice. But what I find weird is just that kids don't have rights. I know this is another topic, but why do kids, every individual has a right, just because you're underage, why aren't they, have a right to privacy? They didn't choose to be an actor, they didn't choose to yeah. be. Right. Let's, legally, let's they start should up be. Petition. That's right, believe me. Are we, oh, are trying we starting anti paparazzi? I know this, this, this movie. Yeah. Okay, let's get back to the movie. Yeah. <laughs> and what about for you, Lizzie? I think it's it, you know I don't have kids, but it's a similar <laughs> thing. You just try. It's hard to figure out how much to give away to the public of yourself and what you want to keep private. And I want to keep everything private all the time. But you do have to, I guess, be sort of accessible to your fans. I guess. Well, and, and that's so weird because I, I like grew up in the industry too. Right. So like even like I did an interview and they mentioned a quote that I said when I was. 13 years old. So you could go on Google and like Google your brain off and find the most, because when you're a kid, you don't know to censor or to do or whatever. Yeah. You just do I your can't interviews imagine and you're a little kid. that many years of, of interviews like available. I, I, get, the, I have quotes from cool. when I'm 12 too and right. the same thing and some of them are so taken out of context and it's just a flippant joke because I, I'm always making jokes and it's so embarrassing. I mean, you were 12. Yeah. So. <laughs> But it doesn't come, they don't, it, it's not like it, you know, comes with a disclaimer, cool, this though. quote was made when you were 14. Right. right. People just think, people, people think, oh, said she said that week. yesterday. Exactly. So the film is centered around a bride, and you guys sort of jump through hoops to make sure that the bride is having the most amazing wedding experience of all time. So sort of in that vein, um, as actresses, I know that people tend to give you guys a bit of the royal treatment. So um, what's the biggest perk that you guys have been treated to uh, since working in this industry? Wow. I'm going with beauty products. I'm going with a table at a restaurant. <laughs> I'm going with sleeping at the Four Seasons last night. <laughs> oh, I didn't know we could do that. I slept, I slept here last night too. No, you, you, what? So I didn't have to get up as early. But I, I didn't, didn't know, know you could even do that. But you only have the room from the morning, not the night before. You have it the night before because you're there so damn early getting ready. Absolutely. I was up with the kids all night. You could have been here. Up yeah, with you, the kids all and night. And on the comp room. Apparently. He could have been with the kids all night. Oh my God. So this movie is sort of about you you crazy ladies and how you, you set out for a nice night out, out on the town, but you ultimately wind up biting off maybe a bit more than you can chew. So what's something maybe in your life, either prof professionally or personally, where you thought it was maybe gonna be X, but it wound up sort of being Y? Oh, that's life. Yeah. This is not. I've had so many of those. X and then it turns out to be Y. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can, I mean, can, you're right. Can, triple can X. you think of a specific example? That's a hard question. I, I, I mean, I've done a movie before where I was told that the character was going to get rewritten and it was going to get punched up, and then it came to the day and it was all I just a ruse. Yeah, okay. a ruse to get me to do the gig. So I've had those kind of experiences. Yeah, I've had those before too, where you're given a certain amount of promises in order to get for them to get you to sign on, and then when you show up, they're like, nah, just kidding, and you're stuck here. Yeah. That's, so, that's happened to me so as well. So what do you do? Yeah. What do you do? Yeah. There's nothing you can do. Sometimes yeah, you, in life, you gotta, you gotta roll work. with the punches. Exactly. Would you relax? What am I doing? All right, I'd like to see you man up. This is the best night of my life, you guys! I just want to give you what you want. What do I want? You want someone to put you in your place. Ah, come here. I really hate weddings. <laughs> We're missing Katie and Jenna. Well, I guess we found Katie.